Hi, I'm Nico and welcome to my channel. As some of you may know, I do love adding details and customizing my gunpla. And I know it can be time consuming and difficult for beginners. But for today's video, we're gonna do the easiest way to make your gunpla look good. Most of the time, holes do not look good on a gundam. They usually work well with Zeon kits, but with the Barbatos, it actually looks nice with some holes drilled into it. Probably because it doesn't look like your typical Gundam. So for this tutorial, all we need is the kit you're gonna be working on. Mine will be the HG Gundam Barbatos, a pencil, a needle point scriber, and two different sizes of drill bits. And that's it. step is you have to figure out where you want to drill the holes. So using your pencil, just mark the areas where you want it to be. Usually, holes would be right at the corner of an armor piece, kind of like how a screw or a nail is located at the corner of furniture. I also really love adding air vents, so I would drill three or more holes at like the back of the thighs or the feet. And it's just a nice change to the overall look of the model. When I add more than one hole in the same place, I usually would use a template so that it looks organized and not all over the place. Unless you can eyeball the spaces in between the holes. But I still would just recommend using a template to make it faster and easier. So after marking out the areas with your pencil, now we use the needle point scriber. For this step, the needle point doesn't really need to be new or sharp. You can even just use a plain old needle because the goal is to just mark where the drill bit will go into later on. If you skip this step and go straight to using the drill bit, the tendency is that it will slip around and you either end up with, a, with an oval or you miss the mark. Sure, you can just firmly press onto the drill bit so it's forced to drill exactly where you want it to. But remember that these are micro drill bits. They're fragile and very easy to break. So marking with the needle point tip is advisable. Now we can drill some holes. So first, I'll be using the smaller size. It totally depends on you what size of drill bit to use, so there's no wrong answer there. I usually drill on a spare flat plate so I can see exactly what it looks like. Because if I go by the, si the size, like if you say it's a 0.5mm drill bit, I don't really even know what that looks like. So I just uh, drill on a spare flat plate. Since we already marked the area with the needle point scriber earlier, just place the drill bit on top of that mark. You'll feel it and you'll know if you place the drill bit correctly. Now hold the drill lightly and just drill straight through. Try not to move around since that can affect the shape of the hole. Some people stop after they feel that the hole is deep enough, but personally I like to drill all the way through to the other side so that all the holes are even in depth. And also be careful um, about the, how much pressure you're putting onto the drill bit especially if you're using smaller sizes because it's very fragile and easy to snap in half. So just be mindful of how much pressure you're putting. And also for the air vents, it's important that you mark the holes right at the center because if not, you might end up with some holes that are too close or too far from each other. It takes a bit of practice uh, since we're essentially eyeballing the center of the circle. But just be mindful of that, it doesn't have to be perfectly in the center. But as long as the spaces are equal, that should be good enough. And for the last step, just grab the larger drill bit. 
It also depends on you what the size is, but usually I just use something slightly bigger than the first drill bit. Now you don't have to use a holder for this, just hold the drill bit in your hands. And then place it on top of the hole and just slightly twist it around. You don't want to put any pressure because that would make the drill bit bite into the plastic and that's not what we want. So what we're doing is basically just adding a bevel around the hole so it looks more refined and slightly similar to Bandai's design. Adding bevels also just takes it to the next level. It adds character to the model kit. Oh and also it's way better to use an old and even rusted drill bit for this. Because if you use a new one or a sharp drill bit for beveling, it's kinda hard to control it because even if you put no pressure, it will immediately bite into the plastic. As you can see, adding simple beveled holes like these is enough to make your gunpla look better. And it's just a nice way to test the waters of customizing. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see more work-in-progress photos, tutorials, and early access to my videos, do check out my Patreon at the link below. Thanks for watching!